Hi, my name's Emma and I lost my brother Bill when he was just 36 years old. Bill was the, I guess, the life of the party. We sort of described him as our Peter Pan, like he never grew up. He's always at the kids' table at dinners and taking the kids out to movies and play games and, yeah, he was fun. I'd actually had my mobile phone on silent, so it was a message bank message from my brother's boss saying that he hadn't come into work. So I didn't bother calling his boss back. I just thought, no, I've got to go and check this out, make sure it's OK. I'd texted him a couple of times, called him from the car. I thought, he's going to be really bad because <laughs> he's sick and I'm hassling him. So I drove to his place. And by that stage, I felt pretty sick. Um, but I was trying to talk myself out of it. And I got to his place, I could see his car was in the garage. So I knew basically that he was home. I knocked and knocked and knocked and knocked and knocked a bit louder, called him again, texted him again. And then I threw some rocks at his bedroom window. I called my niece and said, look, can you just bring the keys home so we can get in? She opened the, um, so the security lock and the um, main door and we went in and I was knocking on his bedroom door which also unfortunately was locked from the inside and I reefed that door off its hinges and I could see his feet and I knew from there he was lying on the bed and as soon as I saw his feet I knew. The ambulance officer was great on the phone. She said, look, the ambulance is already on its way, but I'm going to get them to turn the sirens off. And then I was talking to him and I was telling him that it was going to be OK. Um, yeah, and that we'd... Yeah, Mum was coming and, yeah, it would be all right. <laughs> Sorry. I guess I still felt lucky that it was me that found him because I did get extra time with him there. So yeah, he basically looked like he was asleep. It's time that was precious, yeah, even though it's really hard. I really wish we'd had a time machine to go back, yeah. So we tried to make a bit of a positive out of it and start getting the word out that People die of heart disease that aren't elderly and haven't lived a full life. We've fundraised for different charities, including the Heart Foundation, and I guess I'm hoping that, that more money will be raised for the Heart Foundation, which means more money into research and prevention and the ongoing care for people who have already had heart attacks and survived them um, for rehab and that sort of thing. We can't bring Bill back, but we can stop others losing loved ones.